नमस्कार टू ऑल ऑफ माय स्टोरी लवर्स वेलकम बैक इन स्टोरी टाइम चैनल आई एम योर फ्रेंड पल्लवी रीडिंग इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरीज फॉर यू टुडे आई एम रीडिंग द मुल्ला नसरुद्दीन स्टोरी द स्टोरी नेम इज सेव बाय अ फिश नाउ लेट्स गो टू द स्टोरी द किंग ऑफ तुर्की ग्रीव very fond of nasru he admired nasru's thirst for knowledge as well as his wit one day the king called nasru and said mulla nasruddin i would like to send you on a mission to find out what true wisdom is all about i want you to visit the mystical land of india There are a lot of spiritual men and gurus in India. They will definitely be able to help you find out about wisdom. Nasru was thrilled to go on another journey. He was happier when the king told him that he would pay him a small amount for the visit to India. After collecting the money, Nasru left for India. He traveled many days and nights, meeting many interesting people on his way. Then finally he reached the mystical land of India. He fell in love with India at once. The majestic mountains, thick forests, great rivers, beautiful animals and birds were unlike anything that nasru had ever seen he was amazed at the rich culture and tradition of the indian people after touring india for a short while he began meeting gurus rishis and spiritual men from all over india to try and find out what true wisdom was he met many truly wise spiritual men but he also met many lazy men who were fooling the people by pretending to be holy men one day while walking through a forest in india nasru met a rishi to his surprise he found that the rishi had asked the villager to visit him once a week and bring him the choicest of food he had told the villagers that if they did not bring him food he would put a curse on them nasru realized that the rishi was just cheating the people so he decided to have some fun with him nasru walked up to the rishi who was pretending to meditate when he opened his eyes he looked at nasru and said how can i help you my child nasru said to him rishi i am from far off turkey i have come here to find out what true wisdom is tell me more about your belief so that i may understand the rishi was very happy for the thought that nasru would become his follower with a booming voice he said life is an unending circle in one life you are human and in the next you could be an animal or a plant nasru pretended to look surprised he said to rishi that's so true o holy one in fact i was saved by a fish the rishi opened his eyes wide and said what a fish tell me how that happened i want to know the rishi had the habit of collecting stories from the people and then telling them as if they were his own he thought that nasru had an amazing story for him nasru replied one day while i was traveling through a lonely forest i got lost For many days I wandered without food or water then just as I was 
about to die, I found a lake. With my last bit of energy, I managed to get near the lake. The Rishi was eager to find out what happened, so interrupted Nasru Singh. What happened? Tell me, did you fall into the lake? Did a magical talking fish come out and save you? Did the fish become a god? Nasru began to laugh. He said, no, 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 Rishi. I went to the lake and caught a fish, fried it and ate it. If it wasn't for the fish, I would be dead by now. The Rishi became angry when he realized that Nasru had made him look like a fool. Before he could react, Nasru continued his journey, laughing all the way. Do you like this story? Then tell me in the comment box and subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.